location, as you, the Deputy will be aware, is currently located in a number of rented buildings and prefab accommodation at Dunboyne Business Park. The Department approved standalone status to the College in 2015. It has 800 students. Prior to achieving standalone status, the College was considered part of St Peter's College post-primary school. Louthmeath Education and Training Board, as patron of Dunboyne College of Further Education, it was requested by my, my department to identify potential suitable site options. In response to this request, the ETB has proposed one site option of significant scale and cost. As the Deputy will be aware, the first ever dedicated capital budget for further education and training has been established under uh, Project Ireland 2040. This will see €300 million Euro invested in the period up to 2027 in the development of modern fit-for-purpose facilities nationally. The site option proposed by the ETB will have to be appraised in a wider context, including in the context of the strategy for the further education and training sector generally. I want to thank... I want to thank the Minister for that reply, but it's a deeply disappointing reply because after the progress that was made uh, in 2015 in terms of the recognition, in terms of the recognition of the college, the college is basically now uh, the staff really are working. Uh, uh, while I represent the neighbouring constituency of uh, Dublin West, there are many students from Dublin West as well as from the whole of Meath, because by the way, Minister, you may not be aware that Meath has no third level institution. And uh, students from as far away as Kildare are using this as one of the few uh, very large institutions of further education that are available. The college has a track record, which you can inspect, in terms of students going on to study uh, four degrees in the DIT, uh, in Maynooth University, and in all the different ranges of third level colleges and options that are open to them. Lots of people have gone on to actually uh, work and get work directly or set up their own businesses. But the lack of a site is really hampering the development. Yeah, okay, just look, I know it's a, it's a timeline where the frustration here is, and, and I appreciate that. May 2018, department officials give approval to LMETB to advertise to seek expressions of interest for a suitable site to accommodate Dunboyne uh, uh, College for Further Education, requiring that any identified sites be technically uh, appraised and that the reports of the technical appraisal be made available to my department. September 18, the department approved the appointment of a consultant to support them in the site identification process. July 2019, LMETB provided details on their preferred site and requested, requested approval to make an offer. The site in question was considerably larger than expected and the anticipated acquisition costs were significant due to its partial residential zoning. The reports of the technical appraisal have not uh, yet been received. On the 3rd of October 2019, LMETB advised that the Department was not in a position to consider the proposal further until such time as a broader strategy was agreed in respect of further education provision and associated accommodation requirement. So look, uh, we're not going to uh, come up with a conclusion to this today in this House, but my message is to concur with yourself that we need uh, momentum behind this now and I would call on LMETB uh, to engage proactively with my officials to see how we can move this forward. Obviously there's a roadblock here in terms of scale uh, and also we need, to, we, need to, we need to get heads, bang heads together in this. For raising this, I have a question further down uh, in relation to FE because I don't notice this applied to other colleges around the country as well. Uh, Minister, the roadblock is not in LMETB. The roadblock is a letter that your department issued on the 3rd of October stating uh, baldly that the department is not prepared to consider the project further. That's the roadblock. And Minister, when you say that a number of leases are in place, I think there's 16 uh, separate buildings, 14 leases, and 100 students are being bused to Navin every day. I have a constituent who comes from Ardcat uh, to Dunboyne and then has to get a bus uh, to Navin. This is absolutely outrageous that this was cancelled. And this is another result uh, of your department and you, Minister, accepting a reduction in the capital budget. This uh, college serves uh, young people from all across uh, my constituency and indeed from Deputy uh, Burton's constituency as well. Let's, let's not, this, this stuff that the Minister goes on about, let's work together. I'll work together, Minister, if you send a letter out saying the Department is considering the project further. That's what stopped it. You've got to reverse that, and I'm calling on you to do that. 
Minister that at a minimum you should either visit the college yourself, which you would be very welcome to do, or you should meet the, the uh, deputies from the area uh, that students actually attend uh, this particular college. Your news is very bad news this morning for the college because what is it that people have to do? The staff, uh, the principal, the deputy principal, they're all working their backs off to give the young people in particular a future who are not going the direct route uh, to third level education. And for many of them, remember, uh, in areas like the west side of Dublin West, while the official rate of unemployment is 5%, the real rate in less disadvantaged, in more disadvantaged areas and in rural areas is in practice maybe 11, 12, and in some cases uh, in council estates it can even reach 20 and 25 percent. The key to unlocking a future for those people and getting them into employment is to give them opportunities around further education, and that's what we're, this will not be money in any way misspent. This will be money which will produce a future every year for up to a thousand people in the Meath, Dublin West and Kildare areas and it's a good investment.